Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Here in the Bible Bistro, we are serving it up MSG-free. Yeah, this is a restaurant that you want to come into because it's all fresh, healthy, and good for you. We've got Bible study in here, according to the podcast, sermons, books, all kinds of things. If you go to my-dailydose.com, you'll find our website, The Bible Bistro, and there on The Bible Bistro is all kinds of stuff. Well, you can find articles, pastor's letters, podcasts, poetry, lots of things with peas, actually. It books, I have all the books there. So go to that go to that webpage, my dash dailydose.com. That's the Bible Bistro on the interwebs. And uh, you'll enjoy yourself some fresh and delicious reading as well. Today we're looking at verse 2 in Psalm 123. Yesterday we set this up for ourselves, or the psalmist to actually set this up for us, as he began with these words, Unto thee lift up mine eyes. Now we know that he's no longer looking at hills, he's looking above the hills. O thou that dwellest in the heavens. So we see exactly where he's looking towards. He's still on his way. This travelogue is now changing a little bit because instead of a physical destination at a city, we're headed now to the very presence of God. He says, I'm looking there to you, in the heavens, and then in verse 2, he gives us this similitude, at least in the first part of verse 2. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress. So this is the, the analogy, the similar two thing. Servants and maidens, their eyes do some looking. Where do they look? They look to the hand of their master, to the hand of their mistress. Why? because the master or the mistress is the one that provides for them. So they're servants of the master and the mistress, and what they're going to do is wait on them because they'll be the ones to take care of them. So the psalmist, where are his eyes? His eyes are looking to the one who dwells in the heavens. And what's he doing with his eyes? He's watching. He's waiting. He's looking under the hand of his master. So he's looking to God for all of his provision. Again, let me direct you back to Psalm 121. Looking under the hills from whence does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He gives us that direction in 121, but here we find it in in its fullness in 123. Looking under the hand of the master, looking under the hand of the mistress, that's what my eyes are doing. And the question now that comes to me and I think should be coming to all of us is, What are you looking at? Where are your eyes leveled? Are they looking to the hills? Are they looking to your own ability? Are they looking to someone else to care for you? Or are they looking or are they looking to the Lord? The Lord is your master. You should be expectantly looking towards him. Now, tomorrow in the second half of verse 2, he's going to tell us, he's going to give us the application of this. And so we'll wait for tomorrow to be there. But let's just dwell for a moment on the question, where are our eyes? I will lift up mine eyes, he says there in verse 1. Verse 2, the eyes of the servant look unto the hand of their masters. Where are my eyes leveled? What am I looking at? What am I expecting? Why am I expecting it from that source? These are all good questions that we should ask. Am I looking to the Word enough? Am I looking to the Lord in prayer enough? What am I doing with my eyes? Am I looking at things I shouldn't see? Am I looking at things or in places where my eyes should not wander? So those are some questions we need to ask as we consider what we're doing with our eyes as the psalmist tells us what he's doing with his eyes. Well, join me tomorrow. We'll look at the second half of verse 2, the application of the similitude on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.